Welcome to UCF. Welcome to the College of Engineering and Computer Science and the College of Optics and Photonics Orientation. In the next few minutes, we're going to give you great information about your major and let you know what you need to do right now and in the future to be successful. First, let's do a quick introduction to the three majors in this orientation. Computer engineering focuses on the development of hardware and software, specifically for data processing and storage systems. Electrical engineering is a technical discipline that utilizes electricity, electronics, and electromagnetism in order to solve problems and keep up with current needs of society. Lasers, autonomous vehicles, LED lights, solar panels. These are all applications of photonics. Photonics is light and light-based technologies, and the students who graduate from this major are in high demand. And each of these majors are challenging, so what can you do to be as successful as possible? If you don't remember anything, remember one thing, that if you're a transfer student, come to me for photonics or Charlize Hilton Brown for electrical and computer engineering. We know that UCF is large, or at least that's the rumor. And we know where to go and how to answer your questions here at UCF. We're going to be a very important resource for you, and we can help you find the resources that you need. Look, as an academic advisor, our goal is to help you earn your degree. So please, don't wait until the last minute and don't wait until a problem is too big that it can't be resolved. Stop by our office and see us. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. First, you have to check your email. We get important emails from Mike and Charlize all the time and you really don't want to miss out. Um, but you don't really have to check it on this. You can also check it on this. Next, check your MyNight audit. You might already have AP, IB, or dual enrollment credits rolling in. Check it to make sure that you have all the credits posted correctly. And if it's not, who do you go see to correct it? Look, these majors are tough. And unlike in high school, you're going to be spending more time studying outside of class than learning in class from your professors. So, absolutely go to class. And for every hour you spend in class, you should be spending about three hours studying. So if you're taking 15 credit hours, you should be spending an additional 45 hours studying. That's 60 hours a week total of school. Now, does this mean you should be taking 15 credit hours if you have long commutes or work to go to? That's a question for you know who. Maintaining a high GPA should be one of your top goals. With a high GPA, you have the freedom to choose your employer. However, with a low GPA, the employer chooses you. I find that making a schedule is super helpful. Not only do I include the times my classes meet or when my homework is due, I put down everything. Like all my study hours, the time it takes for me to drive to campus, and even meals. Doing this helps organize my time and it offloads a big chunk of thinking for my brain. The schedule is really like my brain externalized. Do you need help making a schedule? Guess who you should see. But beyond academics, there is so much more you can do. There are clubs, there's undergraduate research, and there's internships. You have to do one of them. UCF offers over 600 clubs across the campus, and some of these include professional organizations such as the Society of Optics Students, IEEE, and the Society of Women Engineers. Join one. It's a great way for you to network with other students and to get opportunities across the campus. By the way, on that networking thing, network. Get to know other students and faculty members. Plus, form study groups. We don't want you to do this alone. So you might be interested in grad school, and one of the ways to explore that is to pursue the opportunities to do research with a faculty member. In the electrical, computer, and photonics department, we have excellent faculty members that will be glad to supervise you. All that's needed is a little bit of initiative on your part, reaching out to them, showing interest, and if they have any opening, they'll be glad to hire you in a snap. But if you have questions on research, you know who to talk to. So what about an internship? I'm glad you asked that question. Although we don't provide credit towards the degree, we do highly recommend our students obtain one. Now, how do you do that? The Experiential Learning Office. 
The staff are there to help you find an internship that fits your goals, fits your needs, and fits your desires. So how do you do that? You sign up through Handshake on the Experiential Learning website, or you can go visit their office. By the way, if you are dead set on graduating and being an engineer, then you really should do an internship. Want to go to graduate school? Then seeking undergraduate research is what you should do. Now, if you are not sure what to do, then do both. Look, we want you all to be successful, but sometimes that may not happen. So we monitor progress in the major, and in fact one way we do that is through a policy we call the progress policy. We check to see if you've accumulated either 10 low grades or three unsuccessful attempts in the same course. If you start to approach those numbers, then we're going to bring you in for advising. And you know, if it turns out that you exceed those numbers, then we're going to help you find a new major because in the end, we want the same goal that you want, and that is to be successful in a major. We know you're selecting a challenging major, but we believe in you and we know you can do this. Form study groups. Make sure you set enough time to study each week. Stay healthy. Meet with your advisor. <laughs> and you will get your degree, and we will be there with you along the way. There's still a lot of information that we cannot fit into this video. We have flowcharts, information about the electrical and computer tracks, and other planning tools. Those links to the College of Engineering and College of Optics and Photonics advising websites can be found on this page. So definitely check them out before you come to orientation so you're super prepared to pick your classes. And finally, when you come to orientation, we're going to help you with schedule planning for the first semester. Make sure you bring along any documents or test scores that you've got that will help us. These documents include your AP, IB, and dual enrollment scores if you have them. And then finally, make sure that you complete all of the checklists that are here in the portal. And for the love of Pete, bring an umbrella because it rains a lot in Central Florida and you don't want to get caught in a rainstorm. But if you've got any questions, who should you go to? Welcome to UCF. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to UCF. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to UCF. Welcome. Welcome to UCF.